What is up, wrestling fans? Welcome to episode 154 of Smack Talk, coming to you from SmackoutMoment.com. Per usual, I am your host, as always, Tony Mango, and with me on the panel are the usual suspects. We've got Miguel Leon. Woof. Steven Wago. You've done 154 of these, you fucking loser. Damn right. You've done a good portion of those. <laughs> yeah, loser. but I've not done the full amount, so I'm, like, kept away from the loser area. Sure. That'll be the defense that we use. <laughs> We also have Drew White. I don't get high. I am high. And... Shut up, Nipsey. <laughs> <laughs> and Mike Faden. Did you know that the song Who Let the Dogs Out is actually talking about like why are all these ugly women around? Yeah. Really? Yep. <laughs> so I like that song day. better now. <laughs> and you do know that Let that song out. That that song is actually a cover too. Mm-hmm. Was the original one like Fred Sinatra or something? <laughs> no, it yeah, was, it was it just was, some Jamaican guy. Yeah, it was a Jamaican club anthem. Um, <laughs> it's like, do, 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 fucking reggae song like that. No, that's though. reggae. We're talking about like actual Jamaican club music. Oh shit. Yeah, like it's it, it's I've actually seen a somebody do like a little thing about it on a uh, on Blip. Um, I'll just uh just look up uh, Todd in the Shadows. He did an episode about it on his series. Hmm. So for all your wrestling news about who the <laughs> dogs <laughs> go to SmackDown. <laughs> well, we do have a lot of wrestling stuff to talk about for this episode. Our main event's going to be going through all the matches that are announced for Hell in a Cell and predicting what we think is going to end up happening. We've got the hot tags coming up in part two. Fantasy League stuff ending us at the end of the uh, program. A break with the rest hold. And of course, in part one here, we've got the Ask Him Wrestling Trivia Question of the Week. So let's backtrack and start doing the recap of last week's, which last week was a real fuck you to you guys because I was in one of those moods. So the question to the panel was, Adam Rose's bunny isn't the only bunny that's been in WWE. What are the other bunnies? And the answer was the Playboy bunnies because, yeah, giant middle finger for that. Um, And the question to the audience was, name the most bulls from WWE history that you can think of. Uh, Habit Man had five of them. Bull Buchanan, Bull Nakano, the British Bulldog, and the Pit Bulls. And he says, damn it, this question is bullshit. <laughs> That's uh, about right. Yeah, very much so. Uh, second place was Moro Supremo, who also said, hashtag fuck Tony's questions. <laughs> and your tykes. Right. He had uh, eight of them. Bull Buchanan, British Bulldog, the Brahma Bull, which, see, the Brahma Bull, people got the that. The Brahma one. Bull does not fucking count. It's yeah, not that right. doesn't count. No, not no one's ever count. gone making his way to the ring. The Brahma Bull, <laughs> the rock. I'm so still counting that. Stupid. I'm not. Uh, he also had Bull Nakano, the Pit Bulls, Apache Bull Ramos, which I didn't even know that one, uh, Matilda the Bulldog, and Bulldog Buzz Sawyer. But the winner of this is Watchman King 67, or Watchman King 67. Who says not only cool shout out from the caucus, <clears throat> but he also says Bull Buchanan, British Bulldog, Matilda the Bulldog, the Pit Bulls, the other Pit Bulls, Bull Nakano, Apache Bull Ramos, and Bulldog Buzz Sawyer. So there's actually two that I had thought of that people didn't mention Bull Dempsey and Johnny the Bull Stamboli. But... Uh, Bull Dempsey technically hasn't notice... made his, uh, his uh, debut yet into the uh, main so. roster. Yeah, did you yeah. notice the winning answer did not say the Brahma Bull because it's a bunch of Brahma yeah. Bull shit. If you're going to count that, then you might as well count, like, Bully Ray. <laughs> well, he yeah, wasn't I... Bully Ray in WWE. Well, you might as well count yeah, well, the fucking Bull He Ray does match. in a fucking Tony question, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so I've got another annoying kind of question for this week. Oh, oh boy, I can't wait oh, to what a it. fucking surprise. <laughs> Although this is more on the, the math side of things again. Uh, also, we're really going to hate it. Yeah, so for you guys here, how many matches, whoever gets closest wins if you don't get it directly on there, uh, how many matches have Randy Orton and John Cena had together on pay-per-view and on television? Sing- 40. Singles matches. Are we, are we doing the closest without going over? 14. All right, so Miguel says 40 singles matches. And- All right, yeah, in terms of like TV and pay per view, I'm going to say 40. All right, and who said 14? Me. Okay. What's your guess, Drew? Uh, Pain and go next. No, no I want to go last. <laughs> uh, I want to go last. I want to go last. Shut up, Mimsy! Yeah, shut up, Mimsy. It's like, um, it's like the price is right. You got to go closest without going over. That's a, um, damn it! <laughs> I was going to say $1. 
<laughs> I'll go. Um, I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna go 41. 20 matches. Yeah, uh, I win. So I was only off by 20. No, because Wego said 14. Uh, you did? Yep. Yeah. Well, I said 40, and it was 20, so I was off by 20. 20 doesn't seem that many matches. I don't know why people complain about them always facing each other. Shut uh, up, for pay-per-views? That's more than a full year's worth of pay-per-views. No, it's pay-per-view yeah. and TV. Oh. So the majority of them actually are on pay-per-views, I think, if I'm remembering correctly. I had the list out earlier, but I don't have it in front of me right now. Yeah, so uh, you got to think So you got to think if half of them are pay-per-views and half of them are TV, that's 10 pay-per-views. That's a year's worth of pay-per-view it, where they main evented with that matchup. So, yeah, yeah it, but, it's a lot more noticeable than most other feuds. Yeah, but you know what else? also been on wrestling for 10 years as well. So You know what else, know. though? If you count the matches where they were just involved with each other, like – Tag team matches, handicap oh, matches, God. and stuff. That's they did not win one with forty one. That's seventy two. Wow, that is a bunch of bullshit. Yeah. Um. So that's the question bullshit. to the audience: Out of those twenty matches, who has the winning record between the two? So, if you guys think you know the answer to that, or you just want to take a guess, leave a comment below on YouTube. Send a tweet at Smart Moment with the hashtag Ask Him. And on the next episode, we will tell you who gets it right, who gets it wrong, who thinks it's bullshit, and who says fuck Tony's questions. And your tykes. Yeah. So, next part we are going to be rolling on to is part two with the hot tags of the week. So, click on the next video, everybody. Stay tuned. We will see you there.